this tiny boat. Probably very affordable too. Real quick, the equipment that I use, I have my regular tog rig set up. I'll put a uh, link to that on how to make it. And then uh, uh, just a 10 foot, uh, 10 foot rod. It's got a 50 pound braid, 40 pound leader. So all I'm really doing, uh, it's no secret where I'm at. I'm in at the inlet in Ocean City. Uh, I'm working alongside down here and all I'm doing is taking my rod and feeling for holes, deep holes. And I just slowly tap it. See, there's a deep hole. It's going all the way down. Once it goes all the way down, all I'm doing is leaving the rod there for a little bit. Uh, I would say roughly 30 seconds, 20, 30 seconds. And if I don't get a bite, then I'm going to keep going. And you just keep finding holes. Now, when I find the hole, what I'm looking for is an easy way out to pull my weight so that the weight goes all the way up. Uh, when the fish bites, he's going to go into the rocks. So, what you're trying to do is make sure that they don't or that you have a way of getting them out. So I find my hole, I kind of probe it a little bit. It feels okay. So I just leave it here. Now, some spots you could, you could only have to move it a couple inches either way. And um, there could be a deep hole right next to where you're at. So just work the, the piles. I've seen people cast out, out, you know, 10, 15 yards out. Um, and they, they do okay. I prefer not to because I feel like I get snagged a lot more as opposed to this. Now, once I find my hole and I know I'm getting bites, I'm gonna put the rod tip as low as I can in the water. Almost like you're gonna load up to, to pull it straight up. And um, as soon as you wanna set the hook, that's exactly what you wanna do. I Real time, I'm all baited up. I got everything ready and I'm gonna find the hole that I've been in and I'll show you how quick they will start biting. So the hole's right there, I feel it. I'm gonna drop this down, get it set, get my line set, rod in the water. And they're already biting. So it's that quick. Good ledge that I found. It's uh, a rock that kind of kind of drops a little bit on the other side, but on the other side, there's rocks all around it, but right in that tiny spot right there, there's a hole that goes down. Every time that I've dropped my sinker down there, it goes straight down and it comes straight up. So uh, that's a good hole. I'm getting good bites in it, so I'm just gonna fish this one for a little bit. Now one way you'll know if your bait's gone is when they stop picking at it. Just wait, count to five. If they stop picking at it, that means the bait's gone. Now the key to setting the hooks is to try, you'll feel the bait move a little bit. And once you feel it move a little bit, that's when you want to try to set it. They're very fast, they're quick, so. Uh, it does take a couple chances and it, it can be difficult at times, but just keep working at it. So some of the tog can be kind of finicky. Uh, and they're they're kind of they're they're gonna give you a run for your money so what i'll do sometimes is i'll switch up instead of just going straight through and putting two on i'll put a little i'll put it through the tail and then come back up and try to hook it in again and get that hook point exposed and that way sometimes when they try to bite the head or bite it off i'll hook them Got him. So it's 
in through the hook will come out right here it takes a little bit of finesse to try to get it to stay on there but once you got it the hook is is right there so sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you just have to keep playing with them There's a bunch of them down there. I can feel them, and there's a bigger one. So I'm gonna keep going for the until I get the big one. Uh, seven and what? Seven and three quarters. That small one. It's another short one. measurement probably about seven and a half somewhere in there same as the last one eh, about almost eight and a half there he is he's got some cuts on him lots of cuts That's a good one. 11. Just shy of 11. Got him. All small this one's eight I'm hoping once the water cools off the bigger ones will start coming in got them these little short ones you can just lift them right up over the, the railing it's the big ones that are hard because they'll they'll swim for a while they'll take you out and they try to go into the rocks and it's, it can be difficult. Get a measurement, probably another eight. Close to it. Yep, nine. Little tog. Tog. Little blackfish. Yeah. Appreciate you watching my video. Hopefully it'll help somebody out. Uh, maybe there's other methods to do it. I know this isn't the only one. There's tons of different ways, but this way seems to work for me. So I really hope that you uh, subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll try to get out a couple more videos before it gets too cold. All right, thanks. See you later.